Artificial intelligence has come a long way and if you're a creator or a business owner who wants to scale their social media and wants to get more followers, more subs, more views and more shares then this video is just for you. As you know creating content is hard and time consuming but because of artificial intelligence many creators and business owners are using these tools to create hundreds of reels and videos in just minutes. In this video, I'll be sharing with you guys one AI tool that I personally have been using to create and structure my videos just like this one. As well as that, I'll be teaching you guys how to write and structure your prompts for any artificial intelligence or tool that you use to create and maximize the best organic content. If you want to use AI to give you ideas that generate very organic and cool content, then I will always recommend ChatGPT to everyone and anyone. I personally have been using ChatGPT for all of my content strategies and even for this video as well. On top of that, OpenAI just announced a few months ago that they'll be releasing GPT-40 to the public. The great thing about GPT-40 is that it is not paid, but it is free to use for anyone who uses ChatGPT. You can use ChatGPT to generate titles, generate descriptions, create scripts for you, and even structure and outline your content. It's an incredibly versatile tool that can help you brainstorm and save time whenever you're creating content. But of course, that only works if you know how to write the perfect prompt. For example, let's say you wanted to ask ChatGPT to give you 15 real video ideas for your workout slash exercise niche. So first step is in the first two to three lines, explain to the AI what it is and who it is and what it actually needs to do. Because AI can take any shape and form, if you just tell it to give you 15 real ideas, then it won't give you the best results and it will give you something that isn't towards your taste. But if you said something like this, you are a professional content creator plus gym freak who loves to create content for your channel and likes to exercise very often. Your main niche is helping people who want to start working out at the gym but don't know how. You've now specified to ChatGPT who it is and what it does. Next is to specify how good it is and this will determine how your results will come out in terms of the ideas that it produces. So second step is we can technically say you have a decade worth of experience in creating content and also have been gymming for around the same time. Your content really engages with the audience, they leave likes, comments and share with their friends and family. You're very good at finding out what real video topics will work and also how to optimize its title and SEO for the platform's algorithm. You also have a great ability of hooking in the viewer in the first five seconds of the video so that they keep watching the video for as long as possible. Right now, we've just created an imaginary characteristic and imaginary person that ChatGPT is based on the descriptions we've given, based on how good it is at its job and what it actually does. And basically we're slowly giving it good traits and attributes so that it can resemble the content that it's about to produce for us. Following this step, we're now gonna tell the AI to give us what we actually want in terms of our ideas. I want you to create a table of three columns, title, hook, and description, and produce 15 real ideas in this niche of workout exercise with an eye-catching and SEO title, a strong hook to hook the viewer in, and also a description of the video and what it's about. This way we've described who ChatGPT is, what it does, and what we actually want out of it. The last and final step for us to write in this prompt is to tell ChatGPT what we don't want in terms of the ideas that it's about to produce for us. Because many times you will ask AI to give you titles or scripts and will always write it in a robotic tone. Which of course wouldn't match the way we'd say and it will obviously sound very robotic on camera. So last and final step, I'll just write one or two lines in the prompt at the very end describing what I don't want from ChatGPT and I'll write it like this. Don't write the title, hook or description with fancy business jargons or with any sort of structure that sounds like it was made by an AI model. Try to sound as organic as possible, but also in a way that engages the viewer. And if we just hit enter, we already have created 15 amazing real ideas, video ideas 
from ChatGPT and it has produced it in a very organic and very human-like form. This procedure not only just helped us create a title but also a hook and description for the video and it only took seconds. And I know what you're thinking and of course this method is foolproof, you can use it as many times as you want, it is unlimited. As many times as you like, you can generate unlimited content for your channel or for your business as well. Anyway guys, that was it for this video. If you're wanting to know how to level up yourself as a person in 2024, then make sure you click up over here onto this video right now. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.